Did you know that 80% of gym goers don't achieve their fitness goals because of what? Exercise burnout. We all experience it, and I'm gonna to explain to you what the signs are coming up right after this. Exercise burnout. Could this be why your training isn't what it's supposed to be? What are some of the signs and symptoms of exercise burnout? Fatigue, lack of sleep, lack of motivation, depression, mental health issues, substance abuse, poor diet. These are all contributing factors to exercise burnout. Sometimes doing the same thing over and over and over again and not seeing any progress. I'm gonna help you correct these problems. So listen to what I have to say. And in the end, I'm gonna tell you guys about a free PDF download that I have, so stay with me. Without getting proper sleep, and that's between the six and eight hour pattern of sleep, your body's not gonna be able to fully recover. And without having that full recovery, it's going to affect not only what you're doing in the gym, but what's going on outside of the gym. Along with without getting good sleep, proper nutrition. If you're eating a real shitty diet, all this processed foods, all this refined sugars, you're definitely scoring, you know, negative points when it comes to getting the proper rest. Both go hand in hand with each other. One thing you gotta make sure of is you gotta have a good healthy diet and you gotta get enough sleep. For years, I suffered of a bad sleep pattern. I went and had a sleep study, found out I had sleep apnea, went on a CPAP. I was sleeping great for years. Then all of a sudden, I started getting very exhausted. I wasn't getting enough sleep. What happened? It affected my workouts. I was just going through the motions until I got the problem corrected. They adjusted my air pressure on my CPAP machine and I started sleeping like a baby again. So that was a big, big factor with exercise burnout for me. Because my diet wasn't so bad, could have been better, but I wasn't getting that sleep. My body was waking up exhausted and it affected me in all walks of life. So that was the big correction. I talked about proper nutrition. You gotta have the right food in your body for the body to recover along with the proper sleep, along with having a very good mental mindset. Are you suffering from depression? A lot of people suffer from depression, you know? Could be law enforcement, military, could be just the stresses of life. Shit happens. Get it checked out. Go seek medical advice. Get the depression under control. These are all contributing factors to exercise burnout, and not just exercise burnout, burnout in general. The last thing you wanna do when you go to the gym is to just go through the motions. And what I'm going through the motions, what I mean is, you come into the gym, if you even make it to the gym, and once you get here, you're standing, you're looking around, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? You gotta have a clear mindset. And in order to have that clear mindset, the things I just talked about all have to come into play. The proper sleep, the proper diet. They're all contributing factors to the motivation you're gonna have in the gym. The mental health issues, is your mind clear? Or is your mind running in a thousand different directions? You wanna be able to make sure that when you walk into the doors of the gym, that you have the mindset that you're gonna have a great workout. You know, have you been doing the same workout over and over again? Monday's chest, Tuesday's back, Wednesday's shoulders, et cetera, et cetera, but you're doing the same exercise routine. There's no change. You're not feeling anything. Gotta change it up a little bit. Change the order of the exercise. Change the type of the exercise. Are you training too heavy? Are you training too light? Oh, you're not training enough, you're not enough sets, too many sets, not enough reps, too many reps. That all depends on you and how you're feeling. You always want to come to the gym with the mindset that you're going to have a good workout. You got to have that workout in your head before you go through the door. So when you go into the gym, 
you already know what you're going to do and you're ready to execute the plan. That's key when you're coming into the gym. If you're unsure of what your fitness journey is, or if you're unsure about how to attain those fitness goals that you want to you know, take in this journey, I've included in the description of this video a free PDF. This file is going to guide you through your fitness journey in a step-by-step -step program that I've designed and it's perfectly free. You click the link in the description, you put your email in, and this file will get sent to you, and I will stay in touch with you, you know, weekly on, on emails, helping you chart your progress. I want to see you succeed, but you have to have accountability for yourself. You have to get your proper sleep. You have to get on a good diet plan. You have to have mental clarity, and you have to have direction, and you have to have motivation. These are all factors that are going to dictate how successful you are in the gym. Because not only is it important what you're doing inside the gym, it's vitally important on what you do outside of the gym. So with that being said, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you guys back in the gym. Peace out.